Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sanish, and I'm your host with Tea Cooks with Flame. Today we're in the kitchen, and we're gonna be making some curd goat. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. We are making some good old curry goat today. I have everything that we might possibly need um, for this to be successful. I have all my uh, seasoning here and my dry herbs over here and I'm going to just show you how I put it all together. So I have some goat meat. I do the freshly killed goat. So I went to the butcher shop. It was already chopped. Well, they did chop it for me and you know put it into smaller pieces so i have this here we're going to start the seasoning process and we're going to allow it to marinate for a little while before we cook okay what i'm going to be adding right now is some culantro crushed garlic pimento seeds and some rosemary We're gonna add, now you see my ensemble over here. Garlic powder, black pepper, madilla, I have a combination seasoning, and my chicken and my all-purpose, my Maggie, which is my favorite seasoning, and I'm mixing two different types of curry today. All right, so I have everything already eyeballed, so I'm just gonna, in no specific order, just dump it in here. Soon, you know me with my hands when I'm doing curry. I'm not gonna get my fingers all curried up, so soon we're gonna go in with my little special glue. And now, my curry, the betta pack, and my uh, East Spice. I still didn't buy gloves, guys, so here. I'm gonna be adding a drop of olive oil. This will help the seasoning to like spread very nicely on the meat. And you really wanna just Make sure that you try to rub that curry and all your seasoning, your spices in really well. I wish you were able to smell what the culantro is doing to this curry right now. It smells so good. So this is going to be uh, marinates, marinating for over five hours, maybe between five to 12 hours, because I really want it to be nice and seasoned. And then we are gonna be back so we can go ahead and start the cooking process. All right, I will, I'm gonna be burning a teaspoon of curry, along with garlic and ginger. Pretty. 
this is nicely marinated and what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to build my curry color so I'm gonna be uh, stirring this around for a little while and then the remaining uh, seasoning that I have left over in my bowl I'll be adding some water to that just so that I can have some liquid base going on in the pot right now allow this to do its thing I'm still trying to get uh, some consistency here um, stirring Cover it for a few minutes just to have to see how much water it will build and have it steam for a little while before we go on to the next step. All right, so this is what I'm talking about it's steaming and it's coming into its own. Now, very important, this is goat meat, so it takes a while to cook. You have the option to pressure cooker, to use a pressure cooker. Uh, at this point, you could go ahead and transfer to a pressure cooker, add water, if you are comfortable with using a pressure cooker. I personally don't use pressure cookers, so my little twist to this is, after being on the stove for 10 minutes, I'm going to be transferring to the oven and that's how this is going to be finished and you'll be right there to see the steps. Before I transfer to the oven, I have my chopped herbs here, scotch bonnet of course, onion, scallion, thyme. get this all in the mix so on the stove guys I did about 15 minutes now I can't just put it in the oven like this with no water otherwise it's gonna get dried so I have my oven preheated to 400 Add the water to the side, just have it sneak its way in there, almost covering the meat. Now, if you don't want to use the, the oven method, that's fine. I do it because I'm able to like leave it and not have to worry about it, and it's just slow cooking on its own. You can leave it on the stove top just this way after you add the water you're gonna just cover it and it will cook itself process is a little bit lengthy because it is goat meat so it takes a while to get tender because you don't want to be eating it and it's chewy you want it to be all the way soft so i'm going to cover this and then have it boil or start boiling then we're going to add it to the to the oven So now that it's broiling, I'm gonna be removing this and we're gonna transfer it to my pan that I'm gonna be baking. You wanna be very, very careful. It's very hot.
I'm gonna be covering with some aluminum foil. You don't have to do this step. The reason why I'm doing this is so that the heat stays in and the moisture stays in the meat. Again, you don't have to do this step, but this is my way. And this is ready for the oven. been an hour and 45 minutes so let's unveil this and see how far we are it's very hot so just be careful that's so that steam does not burn you Ooh, very nice I'm gonna make sure that you can see this very pretty. The right consistency that I was looking for. Now I'm just gonna be adding in some Irish potato. This is gonna help now with the thickening of the gravy. And some carrots. How pretty is this? Can't wait to taste it. So taste this real quick. Yum. At this time, I'm gonna be placing it back in the oven. I'm gonna give the potatoes some time to cook, about 10 more minutes. And our goat is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.